and I'm the one alone, and I am the entertainer. But today I'm going to be walking you through all of the entryway decor that I did for my Great Gatsby party. If you read my last post, you know that I think making an entrance is one of the best ways to wow your guests so that they're excited to be at your party right from the very beginning. And so when I was planning my Gatsby party, I was trying to figure out what to do to make that happen and decided that since Gatsby was in the 20s and during pre prohibition that having a speakeasy type entry would be a really cool way to go. So that's what I did. And if you want to see all the details, then stay tuned. If you prefer to read and look at pictures, you can also go to the blog and see all the pictures there. I will leave a link below. What I decided to do was to make an alley out of my garage and make everyone come in through the garage door instead of the front door. And putting it together wasn't as hard as it looks. I basically piled up a bunch of containers, used some of the shelves that I have in the garage, which are on wheels, to make a pathway down the middle of the garage. And I left a space between some of the shelves so that I could get into the back if I needed to. To make the walls, I used red brick seam setter. They come in sheets of four feet by 30 feet. So I taped two of the sheets together to make a eight foot by 30 foot length. And then lined the top of the shelves with cardboard boxes so that I could staple the tops of the brick seam setter to the top of the shelves. And also made sure that I had one cardboard box at the end of the run so that I could staple it on there as well. And you just need to fix up the middle part so that it's resting on top of your boxes and it's all set. Now let's get back to the tour. Next up is a misleading sign. Back in the day they would be trying to hide that this was a speakeasy by making it look like something else, which is where this sign comes in. And I will be creating a tutorial on step-by-step -step how to make one of these for yourself. Be sure to come back for the next video to find out how. The shady characters are just more plastic scene setters that you can buy separately and tape them on there to make it look like silhouettes. And then we have the alley. So you can walk down the middle. It was getting a little bit dark as you got towards the door, so I installed these patio lights that look like they're just Edison bulbs strung from the ceiling. Give it kind of an industrial look. And then you come around the corner and see my favorite spooky butler. Since mine was a Halloween party, this butler kind of fit right in. It would be kind of cool to have a real person there though. Next up is the house rule sign. This is a printable that you can download from the blog and I put it in a black frame and then used a gold marker to make an outline that looks more Gatsby-like. And to go with the sign you have the stash of alcohol. And these are just cardboard boxes wrapped in craft paper with printed off signs on the fronts of them and I will have the print printables for these available on the blog so there, I'll leave the link below and you can just go and print them off if you want to make the same ones yourself. And then I created this loot box with just some inexpensive canvas bags and the dollar signs and some fake money. This whole area was a popular photo op spot at my party. Now you finally get to the door, which is another scene setter that makes it look like a closed up entry. And I think it's a perfect way to end my speakeasy alley entrance. Well, that's it for today and I hope you liked my speakeasy great guest the entryway as much as my guests did. Thanks for tuning in and we will talk again next time. Bye!